And welcome to the Friday free for all edition of the Nightly News. Ted, all week we've talked about um, the engineering. Painful reality, a very painful reality, yes. <laughs> so let's just forget all about that and let's talk about fun things. Um, I know you don't follow football very much, but uh, there are a lot of people that do. And in the news this uh, last weekend, Sunday at Arrowhead Stadium, the home of my Kansas City Chiefs, Taylor Swift showed up and she was rooting for the Chiefs because apparently um, she's uh, hanging around a little bit with our tight end, who apparently has a tight end, Travis Kelsey. And you know what, Ted, uh, like her or not like her, she's very popular. And if it allows people to get away from this nonsense like they do at Ted Nugent concerts for 10 minutes, I personally think it's good to have that kind of uh, banter going around about something non-political. So uh, the Swifties were interested in Arrowhead Stadium. What's your take on Taylor Swift attending a football game? No take whatsoever. Pick a different subject. That bores the living shit out of me. So I know. I saw it. I saw it on TV. They, my showed it over. Over. they showed it over and I, over. I, I, I left the, the Room. I'm leaving the room on that. I, you take, you use that statement. I refuse to comment. I, that is so out of my stratosphere. <laughs> well, I was, what I was trying to do today is I was just trying to shift gears and get people's mind off of the the basically hell that we're living in. Well, I tell, I'll tell you how to get them off. Here's the, I'll tell you what. You know, everybody knows that music cleanses the soul. And we lost a great, great musical force when Eddie Van Halen died. And a guy, a friend of mine, Steve Rosen, has written the most unbelievable, huge, voluminous uh, history and inside details, the authorized bi biography of Eddie Van Halen. I did an interview with Steve Rosen about the time he spent thousands and thousands of hours with Eddie. I bet you everybody watching the Nightly Nuge has an Eddie Van Halen guitar soundtrack in their quality of life column. So if anybody wants to know what made Eddie Van Halen tick, even though he died it was over a year ago, wasn't it? Um, this book by Steve Rosen is called Tone Chaser, and it kind of identifies why music touches people so deeply. Not Taylor Swift music, but real music. And Eddie Eddie Van Halen left such a musical imprint on humanity that this guy got the inner details of this musical savant. What a great, great man. What a great loss. Too bad that we lost him so early. Well, those of you listening at home, I suggest you go to tednugent.com. There's all kinds of stuff on there for you to take a look at. Support Ted because he's out there on the front lines fighting for us. And as always, I recommend that you go to hunternation.org. We're going to talk about Hunter Nation, in fact, tomorrow. Um, we've talked had a crazy week this week, but how you can be part of the solution. Ted, I'll see you tomorrow on the weekend edition. I can't wait because it's the hunting season. Happy hunting season, everybody. May the great spirit be forever at your side. Thank you.